It seems hardly five minutes ago that the perennial seat-related question was not a matter of shiny new product but whether the Spanish car maker could possibly hope to survive its seemingly endless non-profit status. Last chance survival plans and borrowing end-of-line Audi machinery have featured in the manufacturer's recent past, as has filling its smart oral factory with Q3 production in an effort to finally make it a cost-effective operation. Now, though, the future looks suddenly bright. The firm actually claimed a way for thin profit for last year, evidence that its latest business plan was on the right track, a track leading inexorably to this the proclaimed light at the end of the tunnel, the TCA. It's possible to overstate the importance of the introduction of a crossover into some manufacturers' lineups, but probably not in Seat's case, where the chronic lack of anything SUV-shaped meant that the brand was virtually absent from half of the current car market. The TCA plugs that hole in style. Closely related to the Volkswagen Tiguan and the upcoming second-generation Skoda Yeti, this Spanish interpretation of the SUV looks mildly sensational and, with a very small petrol engine aboard, can be had for less than £18,000. That makes it cheaper to buy than the equivalent entry-level Nissan Qashqai, the car seat is obviously hoping to blow out the water. While harboring that same ambition has not resulted in a host of other manufacturers overcoming Nissan's superstar, recent group testing has already revealed the top Spectca to have all the makings of a new class leader. Now, though, we descend into the fleet-biased nitty-gritty, road testing the car not with the more powerful engine and drivetrain to which Nissan doesn't really possess an answer, but with the far more modest front-wheel drive small diesel combination that it most certainly does. The mid-spec 1.6 TDI SE model we have here starts at 